The United Nations Security Council has imposed tough new sanctions on North Korea, aiming to close the loopholes of earlier resolutions, especially by cutting Pyongyang's access to foreign currency that's funneled into its weapons programs. This comes almost three months after the regime conducted its fifth nuclear test. Here's our foreign affairs correspondent, Kwon Zoa, with more. The UN Security Council's 15 members unanimously voted in favor for the adoption of Resolution 2321 to punish the North Korean regime for its violations against the international community. Today's resolution includes the toughest and most comprehensive sanctions regime ever imposed by the Security Council. Resolution 2321 took the longest time to draft compared to the other U.N. sanctions imposed on North Korea for conducting nuclear tests since 2006. The new resolution focuses on cutting the regime's export earnings by at least 800 million U.S. dollars annually, especially by capping its coal shipments by more than 60 percent. Diplomats and entities have been added on its blacklist, as well as further restrictions on the North's maritime and financial sectors, exports of helicopters, ships and statues. For the first time, North Korea was also warned that its status as a UN member state could be under threat if it continues to flout its international obligations. However, as South Korea's ambassador to the UN said, there's still room at the table for Pyongyang if it changes its ways. No country is an island. North Korea is not an island either. So they, uh, for, for themselves, they, I think they should uh, forego their uh, nuclear program and come back to us for talks. But until then, Washington's chief representative to the UN says the effective implementation of sanctions is everything. All member states are obliged to enforce the sanctions contained in this resolution scrupulously and in the spirit of the resolution's intentions. The South Korean government highly welcomed the resolution and said Thursday that it'll announce its own set of additional sanctions on Friday at 10 a.m. local time. The U.S., Japan and the EU will also reportedly announce their unilateral sanctions soon. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.